Hey what's up you guys, so here's something cool, a huge WS2812 addressable LED that is 10 times bigger than an average WS2812B LED. This huge LED pixel is made by combining a few 50-50 RGB LEDs with the WS2811 addressable LED IC on a custom PCB with a 3D printed enclosure. A small chip of WS2811 is also present inside the WS2812 LED that is connected to R, G and B. My goal here was to make a magnified version of this WS2812 LED that I will use in a future matrix project. So let's get started. The most commonly used WS2812 LED dimension is around 5mm by 5mm. I wanted to make a pixel that is 10 times bigger which means my version should be around 50mm by 50mm in size. To get started I first search for WS2811 IC data sheet and then use one of its given example layout to prepare a simple schematic that has 3 LEDs in series and 3 LEDs in parallel. After finalizing the schematic, I converted it into a board file and prepare a simple square PCB with the dimension of 50mm. I place LEDs and all the components in a circle of diaf 40mm. The reason for doing this was I planned to add an enclosure on this PCB which will cover the whole board except for this circular part. I connected all the components with 1mm width track and then exported the Gerber data before checking it one last time. After finalizing the PCB, I send it to PCBWay for samples. I choose white solder mask for this project as WS2812B is in white in color and white solder mask look great in general. I received PCBs in a week which was super fast. As for the overall quality, it was truly awesome. I ordered 20 boards and each board was perfect. Been using their service for a while now and I have to say, PCBs that I got was great as expected. Check out PCB way for getting great PCB service at an economic price and high quality. PCB assembly of this board consists of mainly three steps which are solder paste dispensing process, pick and place process and hot plate reflow process. At last I added CON3 mail header pin at the back side of this board so I could use it to connect the pixel board on the breadboard. After adding the connector, I added this pixel with an Arduino Nano by following this wiring diagram. I powered this setup with a 12V supply but ran into some problem afterwards. Apparently, I didn't see WS2811 IC's datasheet properly and it is stated in it that it can only drive LEDs up to 20mA which totally exceed my setup which was over 20mA threshold. Because of this issue, the IC caught fire and burn out as soon as I supplied it with 12V. To rectify this issue, I removed the LEDs that were in series so I could power this setup from 5V instead of 12V. I added jumper wires to connect tracks for each LEDs that has been removed to complete the circuit and then tested this board again with the same wiring diagram. And this time it did work. As for the main body of this project, I prepared a body based on the existing WS2812 design which is a square shaped body with a circle in middle and a notch at the ground pin side. I prepared this model in Fusion 360 and then exported its mesh file so I could print it on my Ender 3 with a 0.3mm nozzle at 0.2mm layer height. I then 3D printed the body and then added it to the main PCB with super glue. I connected three potentiometers with Arduino Nano by wiring their VCC and ground to the 5 volt and ground of Arduino. I then connected the middle pin of each port to A0, A1 and A2. LED is connected with D3.
This version isn't the final one as I messed up in setting up the basic schematic which leads to the edit that I did earlier which was to remove 6 LEDs and keep only 3 that are in parallel. Here's the change schematic that is correct and by using it I will make a new PCB that will have more LEDs. This is it for today folks. Leave a comment if you need any help in this project. Special thanks to PCBWay for supporting this project. You guys can check them out if you need great PCB service for a less cost. Thanks for watching this video and I'll be back with the version 2 soon. Peace out.